Anyways, I was working on what I want to say was the second version of what this video was originally going to be, when I realized that these little buttons I have for microcircuitry suck. So I started to think about alternatives for a button. I thought about water initially, but then I remembered I already did that. Then I remembered I saw a video about the conductivity of fire. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, so, uh, turns out I didn't exactly remember that video correctly. Fire is barely conductive. Like, just slightly more than air. That really sucks because fire is great clickbait. Then I remembered I had some temperature sensors, which could work, but only with an Arduino. Since I was already using an Arduino, I decided to shelf the first idea, and then go with a keyboard that you control with fire. Okay, so we have a temperature sensor here, and uh, just some code up here that detects it. Alright, so this is room temp. I so now, we take our heat source, and put it up to the sensor. We see up here, just at that, it was like 180. Now this isn't, of course, this isn't the actual temperature, this is some weird voltage detection thing, but there is a formula to change it to temperature, which we really won't need, we can just, we can just use these values and just kind of guesstimate. So if we just put a certain threshold for each temperature, which we can control by moving the flame away and closer to the sensor, we should be able to convert that to an input for something. Ran into a little bit of a problem. Here's our temperature sensor here. And here's the, um, here's the voltage pin. And if you notice, it's not connected to the, uh, to the sensor. Dude, it costs $7 to ship this. My sensors arrived. Hopefully they work the same as the last one. Otherwise we're gonna have a real problem. And that's about when the productivity ended and my mental breakdown sort of began. The Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi board has to be one of the worst microcontrollers I've ever used, which granted is only three, but my point still stands. That board wasn't even the worst part though. There were like five different libraries that all had different keyboard functions, which all worked to varying degrees with different different code for each of them basically. I decided to start with the one called keyboard. That was the wrong choice though. Apparently you need to use the library HID buttons with the keyboard library to actually do something. Still, the function just doesn't work though. No. Just look at this. I don't even know how to explain what's happening here. I barely understand it myself. But the code works now, so I will stop complaining. Just, no, it took me days to figure this out. Days of no progress, and then additional days. Aside from that code though, it was just some if statements that said when this temperature sensor reaches a certain temperature, trigger the keyboard to write. Yeah, so, it works. So here's how the testing went. I put this shield here just so it could like prop him up. Don't know where the best place to start here is. There, uh, there appear to be some problems with W. Oh, just run. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, I did it, because W's broken. <laughs> okay, let's try something else. I, um, struggling to find games here that, uh, work with only these buttons. Settings. Oh, dude. Wait, wait. I uh, probably should have made something to hold the temperature sensors better, but eh. That piece of scrap metal served its purpose. Also, finding games you can only play with WASD and left click is a lot harder than you think it would be. Anyways, thanks for all the viewership recently. S please subscribe, whatnot. I also have a bunch of links for all the normal stuff. You guys know, just go follow those, please. Bye.